These are the three compounds we'll be using for this demonstration today. Sample number one is uh, pure TNT. Sample number two is uh, C4, which the active ingredient is RDX. And the uh, sample number three is DETCORD, and the active ingredient is PETN. Um, obviously, PETN is uh, one of the harder plastics to, uh, to, to find, and it's also what was in the uh, printer cartridge um, devices that were shipped from Yemen through Dubai to the UK. So uh, there's uh, some challenges here. TNT will be the easiest one to find. C4 is a uh, is the is, is a readily available this demonstration. We're going to be showing uh, TNT around the gas cap. C4 uh, active ingredient RDX on the steering wheel and uh, dead cord and the active ingredient of PETN on the door handle. Okay, so if we're creating sample number one here. David is reaching into the TNT package and we'll show you the amount of TNT that will be present for this experiment. You see there's just a little tiny bit barely visible on his fingertip and uh, we'll show you that sample first. So he will then apply that to the gas cap and go ahead and wipe it all over the area. David, to spread that out. Okay. Very good. Okay, now we're going to prepare uh, sample number two. Dave's going to open up the bag. Kelly will reach inside, try to grab a small crumb. Notice that on their fingertip, there is uh, just almost nothing visible uh, on that. It's just a few tiny little crumbs. Uh, so now we will open up the car door and she will get inside and apply her glove to the steering wheel and just drive around a little bit uh, like she's driving to the checkpoint. Okay. Okay, now we're going to prepare uh, sample number three, which is the debt cord and active ingredient PETN. They will open up the bag, take, remove the small sample of debt cord. Kelly will then put just a little bit from the end, smear it on there, and then she'll roll it, the deck cord in her fingers a little bit. Okay? And then from there, she'll go and try to open up the door handle. Um, and we'll apply the trace sample to the door handle. Here's the uh, QSH-150 system. Uh, you can see it's on, it's running on battery. Um, uh, the system operator basically only pushes one button. It's the green button on top. Push the green button, they break the plane. The sampling. You notice the wind just blew our sample off the thing here. Um, this is just, uh, it, it's not actually taking a sample right now, it's just an example of, of what the system does. And you see that it's now getting no alarm. But I've got the uh, system set in a more op operational um, configuration here, where you have it like a one-point harness that gives you the ability to, if I need to put hands on this person or go for my sidearm, I can do that, um, and it doesn't fall off and, and then hit the ground. Um, helps her to protect the operator. It helps to um, helps to keep everybody on the on the team safe. Um, so the system here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go after our terrorist now and take some samples. I'm going to take one of these sample traps out of here. I'm going to push the button so you can see that there's no alarm on the sample trap. Okay, there's no no alarm on the system. Um, that proves that uh, the, the, the sample, the, this can, this product is, is, is now not contaminated. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this on the first sample here, where the TNT was. And then I'm going to present it to the unit for analysis, and we hit immediately on 
TNT. The way the operator would clear that alarm is they push the green button. They push the green button again. It's now cleaning itself. And it's ready to do the next sample. So we'll go ahead and do the next sample. Sample number two, if you recall, was on the RDX, uh, on the C4, on the steering wheel. And so what we'll do is we'll open up the vehicle. Actually, I've got, we know we have a PETN sample here, so I'll be careful doing that and not touch my left hand to anything uh, after this. We'll now sample the steering wheel and present it to the unit for analysis. And we got an alarm for RDX. So the operator pushes the green button, push the green button again, it's now cleaning itself, and the green light tells us that it's ready to go again. So now we're ready to do the third sample. Got the can of sample traps. We close the door. This was the deck cord with active ingredient PETN. We're going to present the we're going to uh, analyze this door handle. Where Kelly has touched it with her glove. We get start. We present the sample to the unit. And we get a PETN alarm. Almost immediately. Push the green button again. Push the green button again. It's cleaning itself. And the sample, and now the system's ready to go. If we were to do this with one of our competitor systems, it, this this short video could take up to two and a half hours with the kinds of samples that we're doing here. I hope this uh, demonstrates uh, the system and how we use this at a, a, a checkpoint. Thank you.